Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can start selling on Amazon with as little money possible. Okay, so the first thing that you really need when you start selling on Amazon is an Amazon Seller Central account. So I'm going to explain the differences between the two different kinds of account that you can apply for. So when you first go to apply to sell on Amazon, you're going to go to Amazon Seller Central and go to their sign up page. Okay, so this is how the page looks when you first go to sign up. I'm going to leave the link down below. If you guys press sign up right away, they're going to charge you automatically for a professional account, which costs $29.99 per month for Canadians. If you're located in the US, it's gonna be $39.99 per month. So instead of pressing sign up, I want you to scroll all the way down to the bottom. They kind of hide it. They make it hard for you to find, but you're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom here. It says, just have a few items to sell. Sign up to become an individual seller. So you're going to sign up as an individual seller, which means that the account will be free. You don't have to pay for a monthly fee. The only thing that you have to pay for is every time you make a sale. So it's going to be, I think it's 99 cents per sale. So you're basically paying about $1 per sale. Obviously, once you get to the point where you're selling more than 30 units per month, it's just cheaper to have the professional account anyways. So you can always upgrade the account later on. But when you're first starting out and you don't want to put that much money into a bunch of different softwares and everything, I would definitely recommend to just go ahead, sign up as an individual for now, and you can always upgrade it later on once you get to the point where you're selling a lot more units per month. And just to give you guys some context, when I first started selling on Amazon, I think my my first month I sold like 43 units. Honestly, it is achievable to sell more than 30 units your first month. You just really have to send in a lot of different products, a lot of variety. And so I'm not going to show you guys how to sign up on this video because I already have a video that shows the full step-by-step -step process. So I'm going to link that video down below as well. And if you guys have any questions, just leave them down below and I can answer them for you. All right, guys. So the next thing that you'll need as an Amazon seller is softwares to help you find products. So I personally use a software called Tactical Arbitrage. I also use one called seller app. I actually have been using both of them. A lot of people have been asking me which one do you prefer. I like them both for different reasons. I think that tactical arbitrage is a little bit easier for beginners to use because it kind of hands you the products and then you just have to analyze them to make sure that they're actually good. Whereas with Seller Amp, you kind of have to do a little bit more digging. But I do find that Tactical Arbitrage is a little bit more repetitive and Seller Amp is a little bit more fun. So I think if you're somebody who's a little bit more advanced, Seller Amp is a bit more, it feels kind of more like a treasure hunt. So I kind of feel more fulfilled when I'm using Seller Amp in a way. And it's also a way better price than Tactical Arbitrage, but I still pay for both of them. I like both of them for different reasons, as I said. So I would definitely recommend to give them both a shot. If you're a beginner, I would recommend maybe to start with Tactical Arbitrage give it a try and you know if you don't really like it try seller amp and so you can actually use a free trial for both of these softwares so for tactical arbitrage it is 10 days if you use the code sasha fba i'm going to link it down below and i also have a referral link for seller amp if ever you guys want to try it you can get 12 days for free so what i would recommend for a beginner who does not have a lot of money to start with use the free trials to your advantage use the free trials use both of them try to find as many products as you possibly can within those free trials and it's definitely achievable if you have 10 days with tactical arbitrage and 12 days with seller amp you can definitely find products within those days obviously you're going to need to know how to use them so i would recommend to check out i have tutorials for both of them check them out hopefully my tutorials will help you guys understand a little bit on how to actually use these softwares if you have any questions again let me know but i will link them down below so you guys can check them out and so there's one more method of finding products that i really like which is called manual sourcing and basically what this means is that we're just looking for products without softwares so you're basically just manually looking for products on websites and again i'm not going to show you guys how to do that on this video but i do have a separate video showing you exactly how to do manual sourcing so if ever you wanted to find products or learn how to find products without using any software so you don't have to rely on these softwares i would definitely recommend to check out that video and it's definitely possible i've found lots of products manually some of my best products are products i found literally for free so definitely give that a shot as well and guys so there's one more software that you should also get which is to analyze your products these these two it's going to help you find products and then Keepa is going to help you analyze them and out of all of these softwares in a way Keepa is the most important so I would definitely say if you're going to choose between one of these softwares it's going to be Keepa it's 19 euros per month which is quite a good deal for the amount of value that this software has so if you're going to choose one of these softwares it's going to be Keepa and the reason is just because Keepa will really help you avoid buying bad products Tactical Arbitrage and Seller Am both kind of have like a preview of Keepa so you can kind of see similar data to Keepa by using these two softwares but 
I would just recommend get Keepa. If you really want to start without it, you can just use the features from these softwares, but it's not going to be as accurate. It's not going to be as good. So I would definitely recommend to invest in Keepa. But this is one of those things that's kind of like a non-negotiable. Like you just need Keepa because it's really going to help your business and help you avoid buying bad products and wasting your money. All right, guys. So the next things that you'll need to start your Amazon business is boxes, brown paper, bubble wrap, basically packing supplies to be able to actually get your products to Amazon. So if you guys don't understand fully how the logistics work when it comes to online arbitrage, which is the business model that we're doing, the logistics of how it works is that it's going to basically go from Walmart. Let's say you're buying stuff from Walmart. It's going to go from Walmart to your house. You're going to have to pack the items into a box, label them, put a box label, then it's gonna go to UPS, then Amazon, then the customer. So you need to pack your items, label them for Amazon to be able to receive them at their warehouse. You can hire a prep center to do this for you. So it's basically like a business of people who will help you get your stuff to Amazon, which I do use for all of my products now. But when you're starting out, I would recommend to do it yourself. And what makes online arbitrage so easy to start is that since we're ordering stuff from Walmart, let's say, or retail stores, could be Walmart, Toys R Us, Sephora, Staples, whatever stores you're ordering from, since we're ordering these products online, they're actually going to arrive to your house already packaged in a box. Typically, they will also have brown paper and bubble wrap inside of the box with the products to keep them safe. So you so you basically don't need to buy any packing supplies because it will all be free. The products will already come packaged in these supplies. So anytime you order something, keep the boxes, keep the brown paper, keep the bags, keep everything that comes with it, pack it in a closet somewhere and just save it because you might be able to use all of this stuff for a future shipment. And this will really help you save money. And so the next thing that you're going to need is labels and box labels because you need to be able to ship your boxes to Amazon and they have to be labeled. So number one, your products need to be individually labeled. So for example, all of the products that you send to Amazon, they're going to have a UPC code, which is the barcode that exists on the product already. And what you need to do is you need to cover that barcode with an Amazon label. And Amazon needs to be able to scan this label so that they can know that it's your product and basically put it on the shelf under your name. So in order to print these labels, you can buy like a thermal printer that will print out the labels. You can also buy a regular printer and do this. I honestly think one of the best ways to start is just to buy a regular printer because you're probably going to use that for yourself anyways. And you can actually buy Amazon FBA labels that will work with inkjet printers. And I saw a bunch of really inexpensive inkjet printers from like Walmart or Amazon. They typically go for like $69 or $79. So honestly, it's quite affordable. But if you really want to start without buying anything, without investing in really anything, there is an option for you to do that. So you can can pay Amazon 20 cents per unit to label your products for you. And obviously like down the road, if you're doing your shipments for a long time, it's going to be cheaper to get a printer. But what I tell people is if you plan on getting a prep center in the near future or like really early in your business, just pay Amazon to label your products for you. Because if you plan on having a prep center and they're going to 100% do everything for you in the future, there's not really a point to invest in an expensive printer. At this point in my business, every single product I send to Amazon gets sent to my prep center first and then they send it to Amazon for me. So they're handling all of that. And I bought printers when I first started and I don't use them anymore. So I always tell people if it's easier for you, just pay Amazon. It's 20 cents per unit to label it for you. All of the Amazon fees and labeling fees will actually all just be deducted from your sales. So once you send in your inventory to Amazon, assuming that you chose good products that sell quickly, you should make a lot of sales right away. And all of the fees that you're paying to Amazon for labeling, storage, shipping, all of that stuff, it's all just going to be deducted from your sales. So you won't even have to pay it directly on your credit card and you're still going to be paying for it with your revenue but at least it's not coming from your credit card also guys you need box labels so once you're going to be shipping the boxes with ups to amazon you need to print out ups labels directly from your amazon account and if you don't have a printer how are you going to do that like i said if you buy an inkjet printer like a regular inexpensive inkjet printer you can print it with normal paper you can actually also get free plastic adhesives from canada post if you're from canada you can also get free supplies from ups if you're in the us so take a look into that and like if you have a printer already at home just do that like just print it yourself you can either tape the piece of paper directly to the box which is what i used to do or get plastic adhesives and they're literally free from canada post but if you don't have a printer another solution of what you can do is you can actually go to staples so i don't know if staples exists in the u.s but there must be something similar but basically you just have to go to staples and you can print i believe it's 15 cents per page so if you don't want to invest in a printer you don't have one at home already just go to staples and so other than that when it comes to packing and shipping your products there's 
probably one more thing that you'll really need, which is poly bags. So if ever you have products that are liquids, powders, uh, really awkwardly shaped items or really small items, Amazon might require you to place them in a poly bag before being shipped to Amazon. So if you don't want to invest in poly bags, I would just recommend to avoid really small items and avoid liquids. But if not, you guys can just go to Amazon and buy some poly bags. I'll literally show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So poly bags, make sure that they have the warning, the choking hazard warning in English, Spanish, and French. It has to be in those three languages. That's the requirements from Amazon, but you can buy a pack over here for like 22 bucks. So honestly, I would say it's worth it to invest in these because if ever you buy something and you're not really sure if it needs poly bags or not, you're only going to find out once you actually make your shipment and it's going to be super annoying. But basically Amazon also offers a service to poly bag your items. I believe it's 50 cents to 80 cents, depending on the size of the product, but you can also pay Amazon to do that task as well for you. So if you don't want to invest in poly bags, then just do that. But honestly, they're not that expensive anyways, but just to give you guys another option. And guys, also when you're going to be shipping your items to Amazon, you need to also list the weight and dimensions of the products. So obviously a tape measure is very inexpensive. Go to Dollarama, buy a tape measure. But in order to calculate the weight of your boxes, I recommend for people to use a body weight scale. So if you have a body weight scale at home already, that's perfect. If not, I'm going to show you guys how you can calculate the weight manually. So for example, if there's a product here that I'm going to be selling and we're just going to choose a random Lego product. All right, so let's say that this is the Lego product that I'm selling. Let's pretend that I have five of them and I'm going to be shipping them all to Amazon in the same box. Basically, you need to tell UPS how heavy your boxes are going to be. Most websites will show you the weight and dimensions of your products. You can literally just calculate it manually. So over here, you can see it says item weight 2.3 pounds. So literally what you're going to do is you're going to take your calculator. You're going to do 2.3 pounds times, let's say we have five units times five. Basically, the weight of our box is going to be 11.5 pounds. I like to add like one or two pounds to cover the weight of the actual cardboard box. But typically, this is going to be a good estimate of how much your box will weigh. So for this one, I would maybe do 12.5 or 13 pounds. And so the last thing that you'll need to really start your Amazon business is to have a computer, obviously to have Wi-Fi as well, because in order to use these softwares, you're going to need to have some sort of device that's able to run them. You can also use an iPad for pretty much all of these softwares, but I would recommend to get a computer. And so that's pretty much everything that you need to really get started with your Amazon business. Just to kind of recap what I spoke about. So obviously you need to sign up for your Amazon Seller Central account first, sign up for the individual account. You can use one of these softwares to help you find products, or you can do manual sourcing. Watch the video down below to know what that is. Get Keepa, just get it. I'm sorry, guys, just get it. <laughs> like just invest in Keepa. It's going to help your business so much. It's the only thing that I'm telling you is a non-negotiable. So you have to get Keepa. Then when it comes to your packing supplies, like boxes, brown paper, bubble wrap, all of that stuff should be free with your product orders. You can pay Amazon to label your products and you can print your box labels at Staples. You can calculate the weight of your products manually, like I showed you guys or if you have a body weight scale at home you can use that and so that leaves you with a really small amount of things to actually have to invest in so basically it's going to be inventory number one I recommend to start with at least $500 towards inventory and by doing this method it's really going to allow you to focus on putting all of your money to inventory instead of having to buy a bunch of useless supplies like I did when I first started so definitely try to put all of the money that you have towards inventory so I'm going to leave the video at that I really hope that this video was helpful for any beginners who are looking to start selling on Amazon but don't necessarily necessarily have a very big budget to do so. What I do really like about this business is that it's very possible to start this business with low capital because you can kind of go at your own pace and you do not need a lot of stuff up front. So let me know if you guys have any questions or concerns, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video.